Hello everybody and uh, welcome to kind of a unique video. Um, so I wanted to kind of share with you the thought process behind building a control deck. So um, I want to be building a build a Esper control deck. And the reason why I want to do so is uh, for this card, Holy Breaker Horror which I believe to be a, a very powerful card, seeking a control shell that doesn't completely bend to mono green. Um, I've showed on the channel and uh, other times that the Demir deck really, really struggles against control. And I believe the only way for it not to be like 2080 or something, you're, you're still probably gonna lose, but is to add the card Vanishing Verse. Again, I want to, I was going to make this, you know, this, this process by myself, but figure it out that I think it's a, I think it could be a nice little lesson for, for most people, not only to just build this deck right now in the standard uh, November 2021, but just overall, just how to build a best of three deck with a metagame that is very, very, like it's, we have a metagame in standard, it's three decks, basically. Mono green, mono white, and the blue decks, which whatever they are, you know, control decks or epiphany decks, very similar. So you basically have to um, be ready for creatures. But mono green isn't as white, so you don't just need like Cinderclasm and the Mythic Massacre to deal with them. You actually, you actually need value. You need counters. You need Discard spell even. And you need Vanishing Verse because the card Old Grow Troll. It's it's just a pain, and if you just have black removal spells, you're never gonna win. And I saw my video against JS2, but it was probably one of the most one-sided match I've ever played. And between Ogre Troll, Ezekiel's Chair, the Rangers class, that matchup felt uh, like a nightmare. So you need Vanishing Verse. All right, another card that I want to be adding for sure is the Celeste. This is an artifact, so that's kind of bad because it means it dies to Prismari Command, which is played. But anyway. We need to ramp up to our Holebreaker Horror. Uh, this Celestis also fixes our uh, Esper mana, so that is good. Uh, you could have uh, um, the the red, the the Izzet deck and the white, they are so good. They have access to Unexpected Windfall, so they can put our 7 drop at ease because of this powerful card. Um, here we can't, I mean, I could always build this deck, but I don't want to do. Uh, I want to build an Esper Control deck. Necessarily because I think that this might be the best thing in the world. It probably won't be just because I mean people like to brew in standard, people like to build new decks, people like to play control, and uh, control is not the best choice. So uh, I want to try to improve that. All right, let's continue. Now you have two packs after that win that one is wash away counter target spell. If it wasn't cast, you pay one of blue. It's pretty good. Although the problem is that a card like Wash Away is just bad against aggro. Like, sure, like, passing, it's, you have to be passing the turn with three mana up, but they have to play a spell you want to counter. And if you don't play a card like Wash Away, that's a three mana cancel, basically. Sure, against blue it's good, of course, it's a counter spell, which counter spell isn't good against blue. Um, You can play with the card... You can play with the card Lear, the Disciple of the Drowned. Lear, what does it do? It says, first sentence, spell cannot be countered. As a result, you cannot play with counter spell. You can play with divide by zero. So let's add Lear to the mix. Now we have Full Breaker Horror, we have Lear. These are going to be the main ways to win the game. And then if you saw some gameplay of Lear, but this card is super powerful. And take game over but you need to have a cheap curb you also need to have a i guess you also don't mind your opponent to have uh, your deck to have a cheap curb because of hold breaker horror in which you would love to kind of like play cheap spell such as uh, consider such as duress at least three i'm kind of like going through numbers again i don't know uh you could also be playing fading hope a card that I personally do not like. I do really dislike to bounce things. It's good with Leer though, so we could be playing a couple. This Fading Hope also good against tokens. Mono Green has plenty of them, from starters, 
Ranger's class. That's a pretty, actually not a bad trade. You're scrying. They're getting an enchantment that they can get value out of. From you get this card in the graveyard. Consider a couple of feeding go. Another card that I really like is Soul Shatter. This card deals with Ghost Pain Dragon, Immersed Predator pretty well. This card does not deal with Immersed Predator. This card deals with Florian. This card doesn't deal with Florian. I would play Soul Shatter. We could play more removal spell, power word, kill, infernal grass, bloodshed, thirst. But I think this is enough. Wanna play divide by zero. I believe this card uh, to be needed if you have Leer. This is basically a unsubstantiated or banster, as you as you want to call it. I will play three of it. Of course, the lesson in the sideboard, which will shrink your sideboard. But that's okay, I can put one at Mass Hawk Exhibition, one Environmental Science, and one Teach of the Archaics. Oops. My board. One, one. I don't want any of the other slot. If I was playing best of one, but I'm not. I'm not playing best of one. I really like the aspect of the control deck in, in, in best of three. And shape much better in best of three than in best of one. Okay, so here we are, 27 card. Now we need some um, kind of ways to go on uh, on top of our opponent. There's a few uh, few ways to gain card advantage. I mean, we already have Leer. You can use Siphon Insight. I really like this card against blue, but it is just too bad against green and um, against green and white. And while I really like this card against blue, just a pure card advantage, it's not just a, a, a think twice. It just, against blue, you can get their counters. But you can get their divide by zero. You can even get their, you know, just their threats, their Aaron's Epiphany. You can get the lands. This card also gets lands. It's a good card, but it's too bad against green and white. We're already getting some 1-1s. One it's all awful against white because they even like Skyclave Operation, whatever creature you get, and then when you kill the Skyclave Operation, they get the token for Brutal Cathar and etc. It's just, yeah. I mean, I love this card. I'm the first person to. All right, gotta put some memory to luge. You have Celeste, so you don't mind discarding flashback cards. I want to put some memory to luge. Another very strong card that I don't think we can play because of Lear is Emirate. I've been super impressed with Emirate. Again, because of Lear, I don't think we can afford playing. And now it's time to play some sweepers. I'm at 29. I don't want to play. I want to play a lot of uh, lands slash spell lands. Because there's some good spell lands. There's War Disruption. And there's um, Agra Mowling. I wouldn't say Agra Mowling is good. It's very good, but it's not bad. And I can go three and one. You, of course, be like Bamengu. You have Leer. You can't play your word disruption. Well, this is a land, worst case scenario. Just put it as a land. We need to put some sweepers. Now, they can either be the Mithuk Massacre. But the Mithuk Massacre, in my opinion... So, I was playing the Mythic Massacre, Path of Peril, and the 5 mana one. Actually, if you watch my last video, I was playing Mythic Massacre and Path of Peril. But I don't think, for those of you who don't know, Path of Peril is the, the 3 mana one quick leave. I think this card was particularly good in the deck I played uh, with last time because I had 3 drops. I could play this and don't kill my own creatures. But otherwise, I don't know if I want to have a path of path of peril. Sorry, not path. Path of peril in my control deck. Would of course I could. So would or I could play the Mystic Massacre or Shadows Verdict. Those are the cards. Sorry, it's Verdict. Those are the cards I can consider. Overall, Shadow's Verdict is probably the best thing against white, especially since 
Oh, let me let me let me reconsider the mythic massacre. This card gains life whenever you kill an opponent creature, but we have banish reverse. This card exiles it, so we might find ourselves not killing that many things. I think I'm gonna put some shadows verdict. I believe shadows verdict would be excellent against white and green because once again, old girl troll. You need to exile this card really. Might not be that many. We might not be playing enough uh, enough things. But if you look at this deck, if you look at this deck, it doesn't have any cards that are awful matchups. It doesn't have a wash away. It doesn't have. I'm sure we have two shadows verdict, but it's not like. And in a slow matchup, shadows verdict. You might be. Um, it might be much much easier to delude you with a uh, Celestus, okay? Because you play Celestus and then you discard it against White Aggro. If you draw two Wash Away, they're gonna stay in your hand. You're gonna lose with them in your hand most likely. Against White Aggro, of course, this is like we're we're gonna be struggling in the main deck, and that's why we will have uh, some cyber tools like uh, some spot removal. The best one being uh, uh, the, the name at the moment, Parasitic Grasp against uh, against both um, green and um, and white. So as it is, I have twenty five lands plus four creature land for a total of twenty nine lands. I will be playing some spell lands for sure, like some field of ruin and some creature lands. Together with uh, consider and Celestis to loot. Together with uh, divide by zero to loot. It's not uh, intuitive, but it could be. Maybe too many lands. Maybe I need to play another spell here. Okay. It can be another Pulbreaker or. Or it could be the fourth duress. If you think about it in the standard format at the moment, you have green, where duress is actually very good against. You have blue, which against which duress is very good, of course. And then you have white, against which duress is not good. It does discard Valor's stance, which might be their way to get around Holebreaker or but I would for sure not want the fourth the rest. You see, those tiny little things I think are important when building a control deck. Do you want the fourth the rest against the most played deck? Probably not. I mean, I'm certainly boarding them all out. So, what I want here is one extra card. It just be a removal spell. A bloodship first. This deck seems to be struggling against the blue decks. I mean, I might it might sound like I'm struggling against everyone, but it's kind of the, the deal, you know. You are you are a control deck that's trying to do everything with this Leer package. I could just focus on you know beating Agra and switching to control like I did with my Esper mid range, and I don't think it was a bad idea. I think I was beating White, good in the main as well. Blue, good in the side, but just losing too much to green. Okay. The sideboard, I want to have some Malevolent Hermit. Card is excellent. I also need some Go Blank. I'm overloading my sideboard later when I make the plans, we will be cutting down. All right, time to go for the mana base. That I want to feel the ruin. Put a couple of them in. That I want uh, some basics because I have a divided by zero for science and I feel the ruin. Get uh, at least five basics. They don't want some creature land. Get them in. 
all of the storm giants and hive i really like the hive because it's cheap it lets you block the cheap creatures all the storms are very good sometimes your opponent just can't attack through it 46 okay time to add some white sources because they're vanishing burst after all I do have the Celestis. I'm not gonna put a plane in my deck. Um, I'm gonna put all the uh, the land that comes to play untapped. Those are excellent. What's this called? Black one. to put the pathway all right and i now have too many lands here okay so you'd be like i have consider and have fading gold i need blue mana tapped on turn one well i don't think you do You'd be like, I have duress, I need swamp on top on turn one. Well, I don't think you do. These cards aren't necessarily preordained and pondering legacy. It, it's a can trip that you want to just play slowly. You have a breaker horror, so you might even want to play with the breaker horror, actually. White mana. As it is, I have 8 plus 3, I have 11 white swords. That is not enough, you need at least 12. So I either add some uh, pathway of the chosen color, or I add a planes, in which case I suddenly have a lot more sweet uh, target, sorry, uh, I suddenly have a lot more white sources because I've divided by zero and field of ruin. You might say, but then you, I mean, first you might draw a planes, which is pretty terrible. In deck with so many cheap blue and blue black cards. And also, we're already uh, over the count of 62. So you'd be like, I don't want to play white. You can't. You have to play white. White is mandatory in order to have a chance against green. We have to play white. A quick count again we're on 26 lands plus 4 creature lands. Sorry, plus 4 spell lands. We have to cut. Two lands out of this is it, it is 62 indeed we could cut a clear water pathway or a shipwreck marsh how many black sources we would we have here four eight twelve fourteen fifteen blue I have four eight twelve fourteen seventeen we're not even counting the Celestis. We divide by zero with the environmental. So I think overall, this is a deck that could work. I might even go down on an additional Shipwreck Marsh to have a pathway in white. What's the white pathway I want to have? Or I see the grasp in the side cost black black. Shadow's Verdict cost black black. The Jewelry Disruption did mean that I have uh, way more blue than black. Although blue gets me access to the ways to get black. See, this is a very important lesson in cube. You have blue gives you access to black. So it's very important that you put more blue. Because the blue will give you access to the black. Okay. Um, all in all, though, I think I want to go for a black-white pathway, especially with a black-white card like Vanishing Verse. It is, um, it is what I want to do. Okay. All right, so uh, that's the main deck. And now it's the other particularly different thing, uh, the difficult thing whenever building a control deck. And again, I'm not talking about this only. But... Control deck in the, in the metagame like standard with a very, very 
an already shaped up meta game of three decks where you be like versus blue control slash epiphany you're most likely going to cyber the game versus green and versus white which again you're most likely going to cyber the same and you need to build your cyborg accordingly because you can't afford to you know leave like a duress against white you might leave it against green though okay so against blue i'm not sure about this fourth duress i think my just go blank is a better option so that's one Malevolent Hermit, very good. Siphon Insight is very good. Uh, that's it, Go Blank is very good. So that is up to eight cards I can, I can have. Do I have eight bad cards against Blue Control? Well, two are the Shadow's Verdict. Then I can cut some Soul Shutter because I already have a Banishing Verse with, with the Old Breaker Horror, the Leer, and the Banishing Verse is also excellent at dealing with the Malevolent Hermit. And the blood chip thirst, so I'm already out of six. And the fading hope. I keep fading hope to protect my leer, but I assume that my opponent will take down their uh, their thing. So against blue, what do you do usually is you just cut right down the cards that are bad. So against blue, I do have uh, eight cards that I. That I want to be cutting, so that's eight against green and against white. Against white, let's start with that. That's probably gonna be easier. I have your S's and uh, well, I did build my deck not to have too many, uh, I just without counters, it's gonna be yeah, this is just your S's. Against white, I can just be sideboarding three parasitic grass or a shadow's verdict, something like this. Could do. Maybe a little bit too many, too much up here, or even the, no, the celestials I like. I always like this for the for the deck to actually function. And against green. What are we, what are we, what are we doing? Like looking at the sideboard. What is the thing that I like against green? Shadow's Verdict. Do I like Parasitic Grass? But maybe. But I don't want to sideboard out the rest. The rest is good against green. This deck tries to be green, I think. Are we taking out some Consider? I might find myself, you know, without the time to play consider. So that could be the slot. But yeah, against green, you could add consider. So I think if I cut two of these, I am now on 40, 14 cards here. That's perfect because I bring in, sorry, it's not perfect. I still miss a card, but it is perfect because, I mean, I guess I can add the third parasitic grass. I am cutting consider or left and right. Parasitic Grasp is an excellent card. Against green, a matchup where I love duress, I'm not gonna cut them. I'm gonna cut instead consider. And against blue, I have uh, the four malevolent hermit, the two siphon insight. The to go blank. Now I find myself with a, a grand total of eight for eight, four four. Yeah, I have a functional sideboard. Will this work? <laughs> we will see. But uh, I hope you enjoy the this uh, get into the mind of. Uh, how to build an Esper control from scratch, and uh, we'll see if it works out. Okay, so this is my first match. What is going on? I'll go ahead and 
for Risky. Oh, like now, I just go ahead and <laughs> and play this as a island and look for thing with these, or I can play a top land. Things might be awkward. Yeah, I think this is best also for uh, like Athalia coming down. I'm gonna be double spelling anyway next turn because next turn the it cost two and I would only have one. Ooh, excellent. Now all I need is survive up until now. Until this, which won't be an easy task. Although I do have Vanish and Burst up if they play Adeline. That'll be 5 damage. I don't plan to cast Vanish and Burst this turn. Alright. Go ahead and consider. I will put that in the graveyard. Draw top land. Draw top land. Okay. Play land and pass. My opponent does have um, oven, so they can uh, get X proof from a caller. I think I'm going to exile the stone binder somewhere here. I would have probably just punished and burst the single sentinel. I would have saved two life as a whole. Yeah, this one will seal it. Unless I top deck exactly another Shadow's Verdict. Of the Spaceless here. Not a good. Not a playable, a winnable game. Of course, I dread your ass, which is. Dead in the man. Alright. Let's have things. Should look a little bit better. Been all fantastic. Did I consider putting Malevolent Hermit in my deck? Maybe I should. Even throw him in on Leer. For now, just Leer. I'll decide later for it to have more information. As um, imagine if this was clear, <laughs> but uh, oh, what's so good? We'll see. From the scene of this, uh, red mono white. Okay, so this is a human. Playing my Malevolent Hermit just as a two for one. Could hopeful initiate here. I, I am blocking. I brought in the Hermit uh, for this reason. We go Sango Sentinel now. Alright, they go Thalia instead. I don't think they have Sangle Sentinel. Otherwise, they would have uh, they would have just played it. So I'll uh, just save this because I'm eventually going to do this. Right? Might as well do it now. But I can't have Vanishing Verse of uh, uh, Valor Stamp. Uh, 
follow pass and plan on going social where again I could go malevolent hermit better is better elite spellbinder all right play so shattering response good idea with their card remember card eats the highest converted mana card. probably take Lear. Now I have two seven drop in my hand. Seems a lot. Seems a lot. Next turn I have this Malevolent Hermit which will uh, block the Spellbinder as it is a T2 flyer. Good at 20. Still a high life total. Curse of Silence. Wow. Spell they name now costs two more. They named Lear this round. Okay. So I want to say that successfully taxed my. Your dog year does not die to my. Our city grass because they do not have the cleave cost. Blocking this. Not blocking. Some binder, something that I can get out of hand here. I went to exile. So. Oh, you know how strong this card is. I should have just pulled that. That'd be tough now. Super tough now. Yeah, I also play, you know, one of those in my deck, and... Alright. Okay. Alright, Lyra costs you more now. Oh, I'll simply pass. I'll play this uh, Parasitic Grasp, the Legion Angel. Take eight, five. I don't feel good about this. So maybe you're on top land. Uh, we'll break our horror. Do something right here. I could actually pass and loot. I think I want to do the following I want to pass before looting. I want to play Memory Delusion. Nice. And then a loot with the um, a little bit more cards in my hand. So discarding this, so they might not think I I held the one. I did held one, and it's not gonna cost nine. Alright, I played two spell. So let me loot. If I find the shadow's verdict. Don't find a vanishing burst. Let's me survive. Turn. Play land pass and loot. Game is just all about surviving actually and now not even Shadow Shadow's Verdict helps me anymore because they have Legion Angel. 
they had some good draws and unfortunately it wasn't really able to to keep up with they were doing what what with what they were doing here but nonetheless i think it was an okay show for for the Esper deck we got we got destroy game one we did put up a fight in this game too good game opponent all right Get back for another match round number two on the draw have all the colors he's no planes or oh, ray white black land i love to see that I'll start with a hive. Uh, go island to have the Jawari up. Eric of Life's Bomb. Okay. The, that uh, Manishin Burst is not able to keep things up. There's a new card called uh, Eggdar. That's going to be very good. Again, most of the blood. I could exhaust that, but they're going curvier. Looks like my opponent does not have a land here. Ooh, the select. I go with a basic land. Lunar Casper. Leer, that's powerful. We'll wait uh, until I have a. I will wait until I have a. Fading up, up the loot here. We need to attack. I could have attacked with this, but yeah, it could have wrong like a memory to lose or. Owner. Yeah, I mean, obviously, the reason why I'm winning this game is because my opponent. Did. We, we played 30, so we didn't have those. We have those problems, actually the opposite. Alright, now I'll play Leer with uh, Fading Gope back up and put him. Alright. Okay, we gotta win. We gotta win. Bring the Parasitic Grasp and the Shadow Verdict. See how to... I think I want to keep these. Is there any cards in the sideboard for Egg? Of Maybe just more wash away and syncopate like my old uh, control deck would help, but then, like, you don't have that like clear winning. I guess Emirate is very close to a Lira winning game, Emirate winning game. As it, um, and again, these videos are uh, just from my YouTube channel. I very often, as you seen at this point, upload things from my stream. But time to time, I like to take uh, exclusive care of my of my YouTube channel. I hope you appreciate it. Kind of a swamp. Yeah, I don't want to play Fading Hope. I don't want to play Fading Hope. I have Vanishing Burst up. I can kill this, but... Well, exactly. It's ability on this. Now they can... Uh... 
Would it be Code Breaker Horror? That would be my take. Usually, but if they have another spell binding there, it's also reasonable to. Yeah, usually you want to take the most expensive card. The spellbinder isn't an Inquisition, of course, of that. Or isn't a Thoughtseize. You don't take uh, the best card of your opponent's hand. They can just play that card. If you take the most expensive card, it's if, like, you discard it if the game goes long. Yeah, taking Fading Hope here is just, like, not reasonable. On par Cleric. On human, it will mean uh, yeah, I think I'm okay with this. End of journal bounce. Heroes. If there's a cleric, I can go get a three drop. Okay. I'll uh, take the That's three hearts. Yeah, I'll take the Marmot. I'll go lamp. Or I can just go d get double black. Set up the shadow bird. My shields will be down for this turn. The next turn, I'm able to play shadow's verdict if they go like two drop into Pyrovia or Zine for three. Doesn't seem like my opponent has many humans. I'm still happy with Parsons. Perfect. Got everything. Now I think we should be in control. But Breaker Horror is coming down. Nice. I want to wait on my Blur here, Horror. Hmm. No, I think I want to do this because they might. All right, we got a win. Great. Victory, victory. Okay. Final match of this recording. Go ahead and keep this one. A little bit too much. Ooh, perfect. Take the Jurassic. We got to take the Rangers Classic Day. Please have it. All right. Welcome to Winners League of Good. Very thinking is there is a world where is let my opponent so here I just let, let, my, let them slap me for fun and as soon as I play a top land. There is a world where we just pass and you wear a disruption of this. Maybe. I wish this was a pathway. I've slightly changed the mind of it since the video, by the way. You probably noticed I changed my sweatshirt that meant. Okay. I did it. Two more pathway. Look at my top that GG profile. It's one edge gate pathway and two red. When I drew the land to play the ugly. But I can dream. I can dream. I can dream of going uh, leading up now on the world war true. Then we play this. That's my dream. Do the pre combat so it is. Oh shatter. Sorry. The dragon's green with a sphere is low start. Remove spell one do. 
not just on the draw on the green on the draw versus green it went one two three four with the chariot this is like not beatable this isn't beatable all right pass flip tonight they even have two creature lands i think opponent can stop drawing cards and easily Easily defeat. Ariot. The dividing by zero. And I think. It was probably an actual vampiric tutor every draw, but you know, very often though, you know, you would you don't play a very good deck against a good deck, you feel like you're getting a luck. That's a pretty common pattern. That uh, brewers, like it's a sickness that brewers suffer, feeling unlucky when the reality is that your deck is not. But let's deny reality for a bit, and. Join game number two. Join game number Okay. Play for a Enough land. That is just. I think I want to del um, delay this URS. Turn one, nothing pack can happen. Turn two. Get okay, a chance of having a Rangers class that. I resolved my opponent it doesn't have rangers class so it's neat so here my opponent has uh, only threats that just die to my verdict without saying mine so we'll just take a hit of several of the others and uh Just go divide by zero here, just guarantee the lane. The um, the the two mana. So here, if they go, let's say double werewolf pack leader, well, bounce one end of turn and pick up the last. Go cemetery brawler. And Too good not to. Good not. Add my up my banishing birds. You might think that I have a little bit too many removal. Maybe I was supposed to get divination. Maybe you weren't wrong. The divination also guaranteed me the I want to play my shadows verdict here. I want to see what like how much my point will play around shadows verdict. 
If they pass now, I'm just going by Nishim. Amateur Prowler in the turn. And also go so cool. Let's see. So they, they can now deploy our creature, but my hand is ready. And I have triple black, but that thing is a human. I'll be able to go parasitic grass. Be able to go parasitic grass. And probably so sure. I banish him first, which is, I guess, modern. Uh, I don't I want exile. Have the uh have the item. All right. This is the seven drop. So mm -hmm. you can say that we want four of this. Maybe. Of this because it has the counter. It's gonna become a four five three, but waiting with a three three or double block. Take no damage. And having cards like the rest is risk. Funny because I have this now. I have to attack with my fly. I want to keep up the double block. Only kill one. Could also just chomp. Or to just. It means it over. Only bounce it. Okay, the first I want to bounce this. this is... And then. Now I'm simply attacking. I think flip the Celestis at your ass. Yeah, this one is just makes so that uh, all your dead draws are not actually dead because you can loot them away. You know, there it's a it's a card that I really like. Yep. Let me go memory deluge here. The game ends here. We go game three, I'll be on the drop. We need to draw more shadows, right? We just need to draw. We can do it. We can do it. This game, we just had a shadows verdict. We had a three for one. We had a nice life total.
We can do it. Great, and it goes first. I'm not sure I'll grow is in a bad car. Yeah, vanishing. We will to deal with this. Fortunately, divide by zero out and says he got area. No point for me to leave it. I didn't have an untapped mana to play a natural. Oh, yeah. Intense, the fact that my opponent he didn't play around. I don't have it, so I'll probably win because of that. Good more. That's it. <laughs> as easy as that. We really need a fourth shadow verdict. Nonetheless, if you enjoyed this video, I think the most important part of the video is definitely the deck building. Just kind of like what went through my mind, importance of building a sideboard, the game itself, or um, fortunately, standard these days. It's like this you are in the draw and. Thank you for watching, and I'll be back every day. Every day there's a video. Check out the channel, like and subscribe. See you next time.